Hey, I'm going to be going out of town soon, so I'm going to need to refer this patient over to you. So I wanted to start with, she's 32, female, and had described um, having like cold sweat, fever, sore, nausea, and like irritability, loss of appetite. And um, while she was experiencing those symptoms, she also had a rash across her mouth, on her hands, and on her, especially on her knuckles, and her neck. Her temperature was at a fever when she came in. It was a 100.7. Everything else was normal. And I mean, appearance wise, she was pale and there was the rash that was very red, very irritated and blistering. Um, heart rate, normal, 78, and lungs, normal. Her muscles were just fatigued, nothing, nothing too wrong. Um, she did mention that her three-year-old daughter is experiencing similar symptoms, including the rash. So after examining the sores on her mouth and on her hands, I took a swab of her throat to test for various different viruses and for specifically hand, foot, and mouth disease, just because her daughter was having the same um, issues. And the swab after a day or two came back uh, positive. And this disease is super common amongst young children, but can be given to adults to interact with them so closely. And it can last up to seven to 10 days. And I told her the most that, like we could do was for her to stay hydrated and using any over-the-counter medications for like pain relief um, as like ibuprofen and then using zinc oxide or some sort of Vaseline or petroleum jelly to put on her mouth or her hands to protect the blistering skin. And I let her know that if her symptoms do not change at all or become worse within the seven to day, seven to ten day range, that we would recommend her coming back and we would do a couple more tests to figure out what's going on. But that's all for now.